Hello guys, here we are dealing with another type of oscillator which is of course low frequency oscillator. The name is twin tree oscillator. Twin tree oscillator is basically the combination of components, resistance and capacitor. Twin T basically two T networks which are twins, right? That's why the name is twin T oscillator. Let's see how it forms the oscillator circuit. Basically, I will first draw the twin T network and then we will discuss how it is important in your oscillator point of view. This is the 20 network and where I can say that to decide the name of this 20 network I can say obviously in your circuit theory we have learned that this kind of network where this branch another branch and the branch which is shunt in between these two branches that is called as T network right so this is first T network this is one T network, right? And this is another T network. This is another T network which are connected in parallel to each other. If you see, observe carefully, resistances, resistances are connected in series, and here capacitors are connected in series. In the first T network, I have shunt capacitor and in another T network, I have a resistance which is acting as a shunt component. Now, that's why this is called as twin T network. T network, both are T network, but the component are exactly opposite to each other. One is resistance over here for the series connection and here the capacitor are connected in series connection. One capacitor is connected in shunt and here resistance is connected in shunt. Now beauty of this particular circuit is the first T network is acting as low pass filter, right? So this circuit will act as low pass filter. So up to certain value of the frequency that is called as a cutoff frequency, the response is attenuating, right? So after that particular frequency, my response is attenuating and whenever I am considering low pass filter, the particular frequency of that is called as a cutoff frequency, after that particular frequency, my response is getting attenuated and till that particular frequency, I am allowing to pass that particular response, that particular signal. So this is your low pass filter and this is your high pass filter. So exactly opposite to low pass filter, I will say that up to certain value of the frequency called as a cutoff frequency, my signal is getting attenuated and after particular value of frequency, my signal is getting transferred from input to output side. That means I am allowing the signal beyond the frequency called as a cutoff frequency. So this is called as high pass filter. So I am combining these two in parallel combination such that I can say that I will get this is the low pass filter and this will be cutoff frequency. I can say FC and this is your high pass filter. I am allowing high frequency to pass. This is also FC. So I want a single frequency that is cutoff frequency for both the circuit such that I can treat this complete circuit as notch filter. That means band reject filter. Okay. So I can say that if I combine this complete response, the response I will be getting as this is of low pass filter where I am getting the 
low cutoff frequency here that is f l and i will get the same cutoff frequency if i manage to get the same cutoff frequency by rearranging the value of the components r and c such that i can say that this is your higher cutoff frequency then i can say that yes the resultant response where i will get one particular frequency and there i am taking as the frequency of oscillation and here we are starting with the 20 oscillator so this response is for high pass filter and this response is for low pass filter this is fl as well as fh practically it is very difficult to get to manage the same frequency so whatever response i will be getting that i will draw it over here such that i can manage to have the single frequency of oscillation such that i will get the band reject response and this is the frequency where i will say that it's nothing but the frequency of oscillation okay this is the signal or we can say the value of gain and this is nothing but the frequency in logarithmic scale obviously and this is nothing but the frequency of oscillation so as far as the response of 20 oscillator is considered we understood that one is low pass filter one is high pass filter now let's move ahead to form the oscillation circuit oscillator circuit you can draw the oscillator circuit by using opam by using vjt by using fet by any any kind of amplifier but i'm using the opam right now I will draw the 20 circuit with the negative feedback configuration. So here is your 20 circuit. And it is connected to the negative part of the negative terminal of the op-amp that is second pin. This is the third pin. This is the sixth pin. If you are saying that op-amp is 741 op-amp, okay? This is grounded. And this connection I will be getting from the output. So this complete circuit will act as negative feedback circuit, right? So this complete forms your oscillator. Now, the beauty of this oscillator is I'm giving the feedback from this positive side basically and this will give you the cutoff frequency for oscillation so this circuit will decide the frequency oscillation beauty of this circuit is as i'm say, as i'm saying here this is your r by 2 right this is c this is c this is the value 2c and this is r this is r I'm arranging the component values such that I will get the single frequency of oscillation and I will get the sustained oscillation at t tending towards infinity. So whatever frequency of oscillation I will be getting if I'm using this kind of value, if I'm using this kind of uh, value of the component, then I will be getting the frequency is 2 pi r c as we have get in Wenbridge oscillator right so this is the frequency of oscillation that i am getting and your waveform will look like with the sinusoidal waveform obviously that will be of low frequency okay so this is time t tending to infinity and this is the signal which is expected at the output side 
VO. So even in, at the positive side, positive half cycle and the negative half cycle, peak to peak value will be same. Peak to peak value at the positive half cycle and the negative half cycle is same. So I'll get the sustained oscillation as time t tending to infinity. So this is how we have developed the 20 oscillator with low pass filter circuit and high pass filter circuit connected in parallel. So that's the beauty of 20 oscillator. Thank you so much for watching this particular video and learn more and more EDC along with me. Subscribe this particular channel and enjoy.